Hey YouTubers, I think you deserve a more thorough explanation on how I make my uh, utility poles. And um, here I'm going to try to uh, explain and show you the steps. Uh, I'm not going to show you how I uh, build one step by step because I'm doing it with my phone. It's very difficult. Um, but um, okay, here's let's start at the the beginning here this one is the rough dowel after I um, scrape it with uh, my utility not utility knife the utility blade hold on my utility saw with with this right here what I do is uh, I scrape the dowel up and down, up and down, until I'm um, satisfied with the effect. Uh, these are the dowels I use. They're uh, one eighth thick. They're uh, I pay like I pay a dollar for them. Has a whole bunch of them. And. Um, after I uh, after I scrape it with the um, saw, I drill a hole on the bottom. You see, and I put a piece of piano wire. Um, hold on, it's gonna go right through the piece of scrap wood. Um. Let me get it, let me get it, hold on, hold on, please. Here we go. There's a piece of piano wire. Uh, I thought it was gonna be enough, but I, I think this would work on a layout that has foam for terrain. But mine, it's a uh, plywood and um, they're kind of uh, unsteady. So what I did is I put a piece of uh, styrene tubing. Here's the size. It's also one eighth. Uh, the styrene tubing fits in. Let me get one with it fits around the um, piano wire. It's kind of crooked, but it's all right. And um, that makes, I can uh, drill a bigger hole and it'll be more uh, sturdy. Then, uh, after that, I stain it uh, with uh, mint wax uh, stain. Sorry about that. There we go. After the stain, uh, you see like a uh, little uh, pieces of raised uh, wood. You can either leave it like this; it's it's not going to affect it. But after you dry brush it, uh, they kind of break off and they um, or they. Uh, uh, flatten down. Oops, everything's falling down. And uh, this is this is what it looks after the dry brush. It had a little. This had a little damage right there. I left it like that because you see all kinds of damage. Uh, for um, the dry brushing, I use these two colors. On, on, um, on some, I put the green, I dry brush it up and down, and after the green, uh, I go over with, um, clean the brush as much as you can, and I go over with white across the, the, the grain to just get the top, the tops of the grain. Let me show you if I can get this thing in focus. 
there you go and that is one color you I also just dry brush it with white and you get this color right here you get this color right here okay um, here we have a uh, different uh, arm cross arms this one uh, this one is is the the plastic one um, the tube for lights this is gonna have a light so I need it to be hollow so I can uh, run the wires uh, in through it and um, this is gonna have uh, just um, light wires running through it it's not gonna have the uh, high voltage wires so that's why you see a, a little arm sometimes you see these things um, when they go off from the main um, line of uh, utility poles to to a building uh, that's um, a distance from the main line. You see telephones, uh, utility poles like this. And here is uh, this one with the, the main cross arm. There we go, you can see the detail. And uh, I'm also gonna put on some of them, I'm going to put um, the metal steps that they have to climb them. I haven't done that, but I'm going to put it in. Um, here is one with the, you've seen this one before with a transformer and all the wires. They need to be painted. And this is uh, um, one that's at the, at the very end of the line that needs to be, not the very end of the line, it needs to cross like over a road, um, over a freeway, in this case, my um, bridge that I built. The wires, they don't carry the wires over because they will be too low. They go uh, underneath, uh, they're buried. So from here, they come through this uh, a pipe to, to the ground. And um, what else? Oh, the cross arms. Uh, you know what? I forgot uh, which uh, company I got them from. If it's Walters or Rick's Products. Sorry about that. I don't have the label. I don't know where they came from. I'll find out. Uh, I don't know when. <laughs> I'll find out and I'll show you. But what I do is um, I spray paint them uh, with... Um, different grays and whites you've seen my uh, my method before for uh, concrete kind of that's this is what I do with this and now uh, I get like you see here I get different colors variation in the colors the um, insulators I uh, paint them uh, white afterwards after they're installed and this I painted them brown so uh, and uh, also one more thing uh, this is my uh, guy wire I drill a little hole right let me see if I can right in there there you go and that's going to be the guy wire see it uh, I'm using um, for the sleeve I'm using uh, 0 0.060 inch rod styrene I just drill holes on both ends to put the the guy wire a piece of guy wire on the bottom, a piece of white guy on top, white guy wire on top. Sorry, 
And for the insulator, this this part right here, I use a little thicker um, styrene rod. Uh, here it is, 0 0.080 or 2.0 millimeter round rod. And uh, they're going to be painted uh, yellow, the sleeve is going to be painted yellow. The insulator is going to be painted um, a grayish uh, or brownish color. And the, the, the rest of the guy wire is going to be left like it is. So uh, that's how I do it. I hope uh, it helps you guys. And uh, let me show you some of them are placed on my layout. Here is one right here. This is where it's going to go. This has uh, the tubing in the back where it's going to cross under the, the bridge. And there, here is the other one uh, where the, the wires go underground to. And, uh, Here's the other one, and they're gonna have a, a line running through them on top for uh, wires. Let me see if we can get this thing in focus. And uh, this is what I've done with the uh, with one right here. You see the it has the wire running through to the station there you see all right guys hope you like it